Well, a very warm welcome to the Isle of Harris. And we've been here the last two days uh, on the first evening. Um, we went for a beautiful walk and took some images um, at Celebos Beach, which is one of the beaches that is part of the Bay of Luskentire, um, which is probably the most popular beach. And certainly, I think, uh, one of the best for photography. It's um, the reason Luskentire, uh, I think, is just a wonderful place is that it is right underneath the, uh, the North Harris Hills here uh, and Tarrancy Island. So you're surrounded by offshore um, objects uh, with regards to photography. And the beach itself is just beautiful, flat white sand. Um, so it's a magnificent place. I understand why um, it's the go-to place um, to take photographs. And there's an awful lot of possibilities there. Now, having said that, it's quite overwhelming uh, when you get to a beach like that. Um, do you look for a, 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 a foreground subject because there's very few around? or you look for patterns in the sand? Um, or you just go for a very simple abstract image? And I think the latter is probably the best option when it comes to Luskentire because it's those mountains in the background that really set the scene off. Um, so yesterday uh, we went for a uh, drive around the island. Um, it was lashing rain uh, most of the day, but then we had a magnificent sunset. So we just pulled in and went down to a beach called Horgobos Beach, and it actually turned out quite well. Um, now, unfortunately, the beach was covered in rotten seaweed. Um, so I just uh, ran up the dunes and uh, found a little leading line through the dunes and shot a long exposure of around eight to 10 seconds, just to give a softness to the marron grass. And then we had the Tarrancy uh, uh, across the bay. So I was really happy with the light in those images and the composition was quite simple and I live with that. So this morning I'm on the south side of Luskantar uh, Bay and I'll just pan the camera around to give you an idea, it's the wrong way, of the composition. So you see the camera behind me there and it's a very simple composition. You'll see the rocks down here um, in just beneath me. Um, I'm on a little grassy knoll as such um, and then there's some seaweed covered rocks. Uh, sea, the sand spit, more sea, mountain sky. So it's a layered composition of it. And I'm actually quite happy with it. I found it in about 20 minutes and I'm shooting about 30 seconds, polarizer on and a six stop filter. So uh, we've come out to Hossanis uh, Beach, uh, which is about an hour's drive or so or more uh, from Tarbot. And um, at the beach is a lovely little beach, but there's a larger one, which is the one I'm on now, Traw Vellon. And coming down onto this beach, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a wonderful beach. Uh, it trumps L Luskantar Beach insofar as all of the footprints in the marram grass are deer and uh, on the cliff path I was really surprised to to be confronted uh, by an otter coming along the path uh, towards me and uh, he, he scurried on down the cliff um, and that was the last I saw him I, I didn't know where he went um, so that was a wonderful uh, uh, um, you know sighting on the way out here so if you're going out to Hosnest, the drive itself, single track drive is, is, is um, you know, it's, it, it's, a, <laughs> it's a tiring drive. I'm absolutely wrecked now. Um, not after doing the drive, but after doing about a three or four K uh, hike uh, to reach this beach. So it's a very remote place and it's a very remote beach and walk uh, on the back of that. I have about half an hour, an hour's hike back and then the drive back uh, to Tarbot tonight. So I'll have a well-deserved beer when I get home.
Well, this morning uh, I've returned to Luskentire Beach and it's the Rossamole end of it, so the opposite side of the bay um, from where I was uh, yesterday morning. And what's drawing my attention aren't the magnificent views across the beach here, those beautiful golden sands, Tarancy Island, and we can go right the way um, across the bay there. There are features everywhere to draw the eye. Um, but it's not towards the sea that my eye is drawn at the moment. It's looking back, I'm on the height on uh, some of the highest dunes uh, overlooking the beach. And it really is the grasses and the, some of the shapes and contours within the hills that you'll see just here that's drawing my eye. Um, and catching some of the distant hills here of um, North Harris. So I'm betwixt and between whether to stay on the dunes here and get that, uh, have the opportunity for a panoramic view, including the dunes, or just pick out some uh, little vignettes of the landscape um, and hoping for the sun to catch these dunes, to catch the mountains, to catch the sky, or else to go down to the beach and, uh, and try my hand uh, at a little bit of, um, seascape photography, a minimalist style seascape photography, getting those uh, waves, uh, which are quite small, I can see at the moment, there's very little wind uh, today. Um, but I think I'll stay high on the dunes for the time being, wait for the light and we'll see what happens. But that's the, the challenge with a landscape like this. Number one, you wanna relax and enjoy it. Uh, number two, you wanna get a nice image. Um, and just number three, there's just probably too much to point the camera at. Um, so if I didn't struggle, or if any landscape photographer didn't struggle in an environment like this, well, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing to, to worry about your shots and to struggle with your shots and to work at it. Um, and that's what I'm gonna to try to do this morning. The light hasn't materialised this morning, um, but that's actually proved to be uh, a good thing in that we have a very even light over the beach. And I've come down from the, uh, the sand dunes and the marram grass uh, onto the beach. And it's, I should have come down here, um, you know, at first light. Um, but even now I'm getting beautiful, subtle um, images I'm placing the, um, the hills of Harris here uh, at the top of the frame, shooting both landscape and portrait, shooting at about um, you know, 10 seconds, five seconds, longish, very longish exposures. But it, it adds to the, to the um, just to the serenity of the scene. And those hills, um, and they're very large hills. I know you can't see that in the, in the camera here uh, because it's a wide angle view, um, but they are a perfect backdrop to a minimalist scene uh, using the sand and the gentle play of waves uh, on the, this beach. So I'm delighted with some of the images I'm getting here and I'll put one or two of them uh, up on the screen now and be interested to know uh, what you think of them. Well, if you remember from my last vlog on macro photography, I'd mentioned that uh, I may be doing a little bit of infrared. And I've packed that uh, Nikon D810 uh, converted uh, infrared camera 720NM uh, on the trip to Scotland. I've only used it once really to, with Island Donnan uh, Castle on the way out to Skye, but I had to take it out of the bag here for uh, the middle of the day shot with welcome sunlight. Uh, here on the Isle of uh, Lewis for the Callanish standing stones uh, behind me. And they really are well worth the effort to get here. It's about an hour's drive or so from Tarbot. And the shadows that the sun um, is casting from the standing stones um, has been picked up 
uh, quite beautifully by the uh, infrared um, camera and I'm looking forward to getting them home uh, and uh, processing them in black and white and uh, if I do that before this vlog goes out I'll put those images up uh, now. This is the final stop on our trip to the islands of Lewis and Harris and uh, we drove a long way out to reach the Mangerstadt uh, sea stacks and it is worth the trip out. Um, they are very impressive sea stacks. Uh, I wish the sea was wilder. I wish I had waves crashing on those stacks. But having said that, standing at the edge of the cliff here um, in a strong wind, it's very open and it might be hard to get a, a longer exposure. I'm using a six stop filter, um, giving me about uh, anywhere between 10 and uh, 30 seconds and just uh, adjusting the ISO depending on the effect uh, that I'd like to get. But uh, it's a wonderful stop, it's a wonderful way to end our trip here to the Isle of Lewis and Harris.